All right, we are back here at the Family Cafe, the 23rd annual at the Hyatt Regency Plaza International Ballroom in Orlando, Florida. Matt Martucci keeping you company uh, in between sessions here to, to kind of fill in the gaps. And we have one of our Family Cafe board members. This is Star Fields. Hi. Hello. Great to have you with us. Oh, it's always great to be here. My favorite event of the year. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's let's talk a little bit about that. How did you first get involved with uh, an organization as great as as the Family Cafe? Let's we'll bring you in kind of the middle of the table ah, here. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, 2015. I remember sending an email because I sing the national anthem. I had been doing it all over the place and. Um, someone told me about the Family Cafe that I should get involved with the Family Cafe. I said, well, let me see how I can get involved. And I remember sending an email, and that's the way I, I got involved. I thought I was coming to sing the national anthem, but I got so much more from that and been connected ever since. Yeah, and you have a, a, a son mm -hmm. who is how old now? He's 14 years old. A 14-year-old mm -hmm. son w with autism. Autism, And yeah. how, how has this experience been for him? What's his name? His name's way? Gabriel. Yes, he's, he's amazing. He's uh, 14 years old he's nonverbal but he is just he's just blessed our lives tremendously and I'm sure it's like so many of you guys out there watching your kids have too and um, just being connected with the Family Cafe has helped us to gain so many resources. When I first came here, I had no clue there was this many resources out there available for us. And just to be able to see that has just been a life changer. But it was so. in, like in, in addition to seeing that, what are what are some of the, the best things? You know that 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 you've experienced now. You said uh, 2015. I was daring. Mm -hmm. We're coming up on about six years in right. terms of involvement. Right. What What are some of your best memories of, you of the Family Cafe just and just this conference? The families. You know, every single year, being able to see the same families year after year after year, and just feeling the love. Like this really is a family, and they they call it the Family Cafe for that reason. Because once you come one time, you feel like you're a part of something greater, and you are a part of something greater. You no longer feel like like you're alone out there trying to figure it out because there's so many other people that are just like you. And I think that's the biggest thing, you know, knowing that there's a whole world of people that and I actually can fit into a group. I'm not always excluded from the group. I'm a part of something here. Yeah. And I think uh, Jeremy, man, uh, Jeremy Countryman, the program director here, made a really good point when when he was on with us that, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's very rare that you, you come across a, an area or a, a room where where the majority of the people in the room mm -hmm. are, are disabled or are, right. are battling a disability. Right. But it, this is more that's more uh, the rule rather than the exception. Exactly. And, and that, that's what makes the Family Cafe so great. It's so amazing. It really, really is. It's the best place to be, my favorite event of the year. And I'm so glad to be able to be here again. Now, what about being on the on the board? When did when did, did that exactly come about? That came about about three years ago. I think they uh, called and said, we wanted to invite you to be a part of the board. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, a red coat. <laughs> it used to be a white coat before, but I get, they changed the color to red. And, you know, it's just I'm exciting. getting promoted. Yes. You know, it's exciting because I love everything that the Family Cafe represents, helping families that have um, – children with disabilities and then adults with disabilities and just helping the community and then that's something that we all can strive to do even when we leave here but take that back into our own worlds and our own communities and be able to help one another what have you enjoyed so far about the day yeah what did you think of our keynotes by the way amazing keynotes you know they just give you so much hope they show you there's love out there for everybody and you know just never ever give up and I, I really loved his examples of even when people thought they were being nice they were being offensive so I think it's so key that we have to watch what we say to people because you might look at somebody and think they don't have a perfect or a great life but they are just happy and they're satisfied and they're content and they are joyful with the life that they're had they're happy just to be alive and I, I I'll go full disclosure here a confession to make that was my first experience mm -hmm. with an interabled relationship mm -hmm, me and too. It, it was awesome to to hear about the stories and especially the way that they reacted you know they 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 could have reacted and, and been particularly upset, but mm -hmm. they used humor and mm -hmm. they were able to, to make the best of the situation when there was somebody that was particularly ignorant. Mm -hmm. And so, so true. And just letting the world know that you do have a life worth living. I think that was just the key. I love how he started with that and how he finished with that. And and all of us, you know, we have a life worth living. Wild to me that there, I mean, I, and I know there are because I've been on social media uh, and I, I work as a sports broadcaster, so people can wow. be people can be particularly cruel when mm -hmm. they want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, but just 
amazing is the wrong word. It's almost astonishing uh, that that people can be that mean. Mm-hmm. But but they are out there, and you know the way we respond to it is it is obviously key. And uh, Shane and Hannah did a really good job. They doing did an that. excellent job. Thank you guys for coming here and being our keynote speakers for this morning session. It was amazing. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. abs- it absolutely was. Now. Music career for you, mm-hmm. and you've you know you've used obviously Gabriel as as an inspiration for some of that music. Right. What's what's going on with that? Okay, well, <laughs> um, I just finished my first well not my first my second CD called Win, and I'm inspired by Gabriel with most of my music because it took him 18 months to learn how to put a ball in a container. So I decided to write a song called Win, and I want you guys to know that you are a winner out there, no matter how long it takes you <laughs> to put a ball in the container. Okay, it took Gabriel 18 months, but once he got it, now he can throw everything in the in the basket when we go to the store he can throw the potato chips and the candy bars and everything in there so he's mastered that but I wrote this song it's called I'm ready to win and you know I think so many times you can get frustrated you feel like life is knocking you down if you'd like you gotta know that you're a winner bring it and that we are ready to win in this our time to might win. be a better experience Absolutely. for you yeah, yeah I mean, and this way you know I can we all go through things look straight on the, in our daily lives that, that I, no, no like right, right. here what, what like in this like center section a, here by the parent, stage parent myself mm-hmm. What was that like for you? We you are know, using finally, the screens, but I mean, it'd be nicer to have oh, live gosh, people. It's so amazing since to be able to see him get over the hurdles and okay. do things that even the doctors. I, you don't that have he would to. I'm do. just you know, recommending, so you know, you know suggestions. You could stay where you think want. That he fine. might not be able to walk. And he can <laughs> run faster than me. <laughs> and they, uh, you know, they said he might not ever talk, but we're still believing that he's going to talk. And um, you know, but it's amazing to see him do the things that even I can't do right now. I've been amazed by the summer so far. Him swimming in the eight feet. And every time I see that, I'm just amazed. And I actually sent a little video to his physical therapist, um, aquatic therapist, and let her see that look what you've taught him and now he's able to grasp it he's able to swim he's kicking and swimming and doing it all and yes. i can't even do it i have a life jacket on and he's in the eight feet swimming that's awesome yeah <laughs> i lo- love to hear that and i'm sure she does too mm-hmm. it's great it's awesome so don't give up on your kids out there because they can get it being on the board how much of a challenge was this past year just in terms uh, of the the meetings and you know things being a little different. I know, mean, the, the the first thing I I heard a lot of people say, you know, just just getting here, you see people and hear people backstage, hear people out in the crowd say hi to one another, mm-hmm. and you can hear just the emotion and the the, the raw joy oh that gosh. they have for actually being here just, and being present. Oh my gosh, you know this has been a crazy year for so many of us I'm sure for all of us even um, us on the board we've had to do a lot of our meetings via zoom and um, you know just I'm just so proud of us though because the family cafe board of directors and the family cafe staff they wrapped their hands around they figured out how to do this Facebook live they figured out how to broadcast and they just turned things around like on a dime and and still made it happen and this is a great example for all of us (laughs) you know we might get thrown lemons but we're going to make lemonade and we have to figure out how to turn things around and still let them work out for our good and that's what they have done this year they persevered and I love this hybrid event because now even though um, we're not full to capacity here we are still able to be here and then they're still you guys are still able to watch from home so i think it's everybody's getting the best of both worlds oh yeah and i mean uh, if if uh you do have a comment for us if you you have anything uh a, a comment that you would like to post for star or just for us uh, about the content that we've provided so far i will be honest with you i i have been reading the comments uh saw people talking about how much they were enjoying our interviews Aww. just enjoying the content the appreciate everybody out there watching at home the Aww. fact that this is a, a hybrid event and wish that you all could be here with us but we have over 7,000 people uh, I'm not sure how many are actually here mm-hmm. in attendance but at Registered. least 7,000 registered that's awesome that is so so awesome so that's great thank you family cafe for just giving us this opportunity to be able to be hybrid and here in person well uh, star fields thank you for your energy thank and, you and for your love of the family cafe oh, great uh, great to be here and talk with you oh you too and amazing en- en- thank en- you enjoy the next couple days of the conference i will bye bye guys that's star fields right here on the the family cafe board and uh, a talented musical artist oh. in in her own right <laughs> thank you so much well, folks, uh, a reminder, if you haven't hit the like button on the Family Cafe Facebook page, please do that. Uh, if you want to check out the website, you probably have it memorized by now, but we'll tell you one more time, familycafe.net. Uh, you can donate. You can find out information about volunteering, uh, connecting you. If, if you have a loved one who is disabled or is, is uh, 
fighting with a disability and, and has a, a challenge uh, on a daily level, you know, you could certainly go there and, and find assistance and find programs uh, that can, in fact, help you with that. So we have a, a jam-packed day still to come at the International Plaza Ballroom here at the Hyatt Regency. Just uh, a look of a look at what's kind of coming down the pipe here. Coming up at 2.30, you know, not too far as I look at my watch, just a few minutes down the line, we often talk about financial planning and what our situations will be like for us and our loved ones. You think about visionary thinking and what life might be like for five years, 10 years, 20 years down the line. It's always good to have a financial plan. Well, coming up at 2.30 in just a few minutes, uh, right here in the International Plaza Ballroom, life care planning, making the future more secure for your dependent with special needs. And, you know, I, I, I can't stress enough the importance of that when you're talking about trusts and making sure that your will is potentially in line making sure that your loved ones are in fact and your dependent with special needs is in fact taken care of when you are no longer here you know as as sad sometimes uh, to think about as that is the, the passing of a loved one or a family member but the idea of planning ahead and that is a, a huge conversation an important conversation uh, and one obviously that the folks here at the family cafe uh, feel like is a necessary one to have so we are looking forward to that uh, coming up at 2 30. Uh, a little bit later, uh, we will meet the Director of Vocational Education. Uh, so uh, that that's coming down the line just a couple hours away uh, for that. And also want to recognize, by the way, the guests that we have already had. We just had Star Fields, uh, who was amazing. You could just feel her energy, you know, bubbling right into the camera. Uh, but the some of the others, we had Josue Tapia from the, the Florida Youth Council talking about his experiences with the Family Cafe. We had Jeremy Countryman. The program director of the Family Cafe, 16 years for Jeremy Countryman uh, with the Family Cafe. We had Senator Ana Maria Rodriguez from the Greater Miami area, uh, who is also a board member. Thank you, Senator Rodriguez, for stopping by. Uh, Joe McCann, the policy manager, uh, who had also stopped by and was a guest during the first portion uh, of our program. Uh, I would encourage you, by the way, if you, you are having any technical difficulties at home and you have the ability to comment on Facebook, which if you're watching us, I'm sure you do because you wouldn't have found us otherwise. But comment, let us know kind of what's going on, if there's an, an audio issue or, or anything um, that is causing you. Maybe it's a bandwidth issue. It might be your Internet connection. I don't think it's ours. Uh, but, you know, there there is the possibility um you know that there, there might be a technical difficulty here or there because this is 2021 we are relying on streaming uh, a little bit more than we were in the past and because of the fact that this is a, a hybrid event so many of you watching at home we wish you could be here with us uh, but want to make sure that this is this experience is in fact the most enjoyable uh, as it can possibly be for you and your loved ones if you are in fact uh, watching at home but 7,000 people registered uh, there are so many folks just rotating in and out of the rooms uh, here, especially the International Plaza Ballroom where we had the keynotes, uh, Shane and Hannah Burkow, who were amazing. Uh, if, if you have the chance or if you, ha if you had the chance, um, and even if you haven't, you have a chance to go to the live page on our Facebook page, go back and watch that speech. They talked about what it's like to be in an interabled relationship, some of the ignorance that, that occurs in society, uh, as a result of, of people, frankly, just not knowing any better. Um, you know, Shane had, had told the story of the two of them going to, to the beer store, you know, to, to pick up some alcohol. Uh, and uh, the guy at the beer store coming up and basically coming up to Hannah in, in a cartoonish voice and saying, hey, do you want a lollipop for your little guy? And they didn't even offer Hannah a, Hannah a lollipop either. But the point of it was, you know, he just assumed that that because Shane had a disability that that was that was how he should talk to Hannah and that you know, that he wasn't a person capable of you know of living a fully functional life which as evidenced uh, by by countless examples in Shane's speech he obviously was and obviously is every day the biggest thing that I took away from that and and star actually brought that up everybody has a life worth living and I, I'll remember that, I think, for the rest of my life. Shane Burkhardt talking about his experience uh, with 
you know, just everything that, that he's gone through to get to this point. Uh, from the books that he's written and, and just everything that's gone on to this point uh, in his life. Shane Burkaw and Hannah Burkaw, inspiration to us all. So that concludes this intercession, folks. We will, we will be back uh, after the next presentation, which is life care planning, uh, making the future more secure for your dependent with special needs. I'm Matt Martucci. We'll see you in a little bit. Thanks for stopping by and watching.